Jersey Bird, welcome back to Steam World Quest. Today we are continuing with Act One in Chapter Six, Canary in a Coal Mine. Our former trio probes deeper into the cave to find Guildmaster Gaines. It says former trio because we now are a quattro, I guess. Chapter Six, Canary in a Coal Mine. We got a new friend last episode. It is a very cool character. So if you haven't seen the last episode, definitely go check it out. It's been a couple days since I've last played, so if I'm super rusty today, I do apologize. But yeah, let's get started with everything. Can I go to the left? I can't. Uh, but I can save, I can heal just in case I need to, and I can talk to you. So, you can craft some cards. Definitely can do that. What can I buy? Accessories and recovery items, but no weapons. Gotcha. Uh, let's take a look at our craft cards. Yeah, there were a couple things I wanted to try, wasn't there? Is there anything new? There's all in. Um, of course, for our Millie, does 125% strength as physical damage to one foe. Variable skill does another 50% strength damage for each gear spent. So another gear-based one. Ooh, okay. Um, and combo does 80% strength for each gear spent instead with uh, him being the combo. Oh, there's always so many options, it's crazy. Kilovolt deals 45 to 135% magic damage, uh, well, magic as storm damage to one foe. Huh, okay. We got Searing Slash we've read about. Brain Freeze does 35% magic as frost damage to all foes, lowers their magic by one grade for three turns, and then there's Dispel. Hmm. Yeah, there were so many options, I don't really know where to start. Uh. For Galio, there's Blindside. Inflicts blindness on one foe for three turns. Blind. Victim misses 50% of their attack. That's okay. I don't know if I like that too much. There's Abs of Steel. Physical Immunity. Quick Fix. And then for... Uh, sorry for the yawn. Uh, for our buddy Oric here, there's Bushido. Grants a net one ally 60% chance of their attacks to be critical hits for three turns. That sounds really good, actually. And then over this way, we have... Uh, calming Wisdom heals one ally by 190% magic and cures confusion, despair, and berserk conditions. Not bad. And we got Heart Piercer. Those 220% strength is as piercing physical damage to one foe. That sounds crazy. And then Precision Cut. Does 300% strength as physical damage to one foe. If this scores a critical hit, it deals an additional 250% strength damage. Wow. Okay and it deals an extra 100% strength if our Millie is comboing. I feel like I wanna go with Brain Freeze, but I feel like I also have to double check everything else. So like if I take a, a moment to go over our decks really fast, like we have like Arcane Detective, which is generates one additional gear for three turns, which I think was to help some other characters more specifically, but then we got like a lot of freezing stuff. So we have Blizzard, we have Cold Feet, and we have Creeping Cold. Um, Cause deals Frosted damage to two foes. So honestly, I would not mind because we already have like a cold focused thing. Yeah, because this lowers all foes' frost defense. The only problem right now is I I, I, I want to get rid of this, but it would be also a bad idea because it's, you know we need something that takes up gears. Okay, so I think that's still something I would try. With our melee, it's still just sort of knocking them down and is hitting them as hard as we can. So with that being said, I wouldn't mind having, I mean, at the same time, I feel like this, this combo is just nice and pure. And for him, yeah, like for Galio, we don't really have anything too crazy. He's just sort of a helper. Nothing too specific with his stuff, but it's all to set up for the, what was it called, the, Zy the Cyclone Slash. So I think with that setting something that like, like that up for a melee would be great as well. So if we did all in, we can afford it. I feel like this is something we should try. And then we should also, if we can afford it, do this. There we go. Um, and we'll fiddle with those a little bit. I mean, we played a lot with Auric last episode, so I'm thinking that maybe we could do something like that and get rid of maybe one Brave Buster. And just that combo right there seems pretty good. But I'm gonna change this up a little bit and probably get rid of one Creeping Cold and try the Brain Freeze. Just because that way, it'll be harder for them to keep up. All right, so let's try our active party to be changed up a little bit and see how that goes. I'm gonna leave you be for now. Actually, make sure I save. 
There we go. Just, you know, so I can say that I set all that stuff up. And let's get moving into the cave. Whoa, it's a dragon. Is this our canary? Whoa, a dragon. I've never seen a real dragon before. I have, but only safely contained on college ground. And this one wears the same kind of barding with identical symbols. The directives and spirit of Alchemy College have clearly been breached. Oh no, you again? You're the canary. That stubborn bunch from the village. Be warned, I've been provided with this dragon for my new alchemical friends, and I won't hold back this time. Oh no. Tell us who your ally is, you twirling bird brain. <laughs> You'll regret that wording. Ha, we beat you once, we'll beat you again. And we're just going right at it. Oh my. So we'll try this up a little bit. I mean, once again, as you can see, deals 125% strength. There's physical damage to one foe. Variable skill does another 50% strength damage for each gear spent. So maybe this would have been great with Auric, but I don't know, like, that's sort of the idea is that we build up a lot of stuff with Auric as well. So I don't wanna do too much too crazily. I wanna, I wanna build up gear. So I could do that. And that, what do we get? We get Mana Barrier would probably be pretty good. And I feel like it'd be good to go against the Nar Narcassian Dragon first. Let's try this out. So we're gonna do Mana Barrier, Bravado, and just Heroic Strike you. You're gonna do Tail Slam, which is 71 damage onto uh, her name. <laughs> I just, I've been a couple days, so I just don't remember. But yeah, that was uh, all, oh, foul play, yikes. That was all shielded, so it didn't really do any damage. Let's get rid of this stuff for now. Uh, I think. Copernica, that's what it is. We'll do Fixer, which yeah, generates two additional. There we go. And then we'll have a lot so we can try the all in. I'll see if that's worth my while. So shield up, fix it up, and then go all in. 304, not bad actually. Could have been better, but Definitely could have been worse. We got Zapping Strike there, so he's gonna heal. This is why I wanted to focus on the dragon. Bird Song, what is this? Oh, he's gonna make Copernicus dizzy. So we can't quite do this, or maybe we only have like a chance of it working? Hmm, I don't know how I feel, like, I feel about that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that one, specifically. <laughs> okay, we'll land what we can. Cause she's dizzy right now, I don't wanna risk missing and then wasting a card or something. We need to make sure every move sort of works. Dragon Flare hurts. Mark target, uh-oh. Foul play again. Why does he get to attack twice? We are not doing so well right now. And she is still dizzy. Uh, You know what I haven't done? Let's take a look at this. Condition immunities. Nearly everything. He is weak to cold though, so we need Copernicus to pull back together here. And sort of, okay, so you're weak to lightning. Uh, Captain Canary. Okay, um, ointment, cures poison, bleed, burn paralysis, and blindness. Confusion. Here we go. And then we'll do a bravado. And maybe a heal on Galio? Let's just make this like a recoup turn. There we go. Okay, he gets damaged a little bit again. <laughs> Basically back to where he was. Whoa, way back to where he was. Uh, okay, we can definitely make something work this time. Let's do Arcane Detective. Let's do Focus. And then let's do, let's do Blizzard. No, I gotta do Creeping Cold. So we get Thunder Wave out of that, which should hurt Captain Canary because he's lightning. There we go. So we really need Copernica to do some crazy stuff to him because if he is, you know, weak, like freezing is his only weakness and we can definitely get some stuff happening. So regeneration sounds great. Let's try to cycle, okay, here we go, here we go. And then steam punch. Because right now, our Millie is paralyzed anyways. There we go. Okay, you're weak to that right now, that's good. Oh my. We are all hurting right now though. This is not good. Okay, so you're still paralyzed. I'm gonna cycle through that and this and maybe one more, yep, okay. So I have another focus if I wanted to. Doesn't sound very good to me. 
I wanted to sort of keep going with this. And this might hurt us, and if it does, I'm sorry. Who's the weakest out of the group? It's it's Galio at the moment. So I'm gonna shield Galio. I wanna try this out. That'll make you both weaker to it. And then we'll try Blizzard. And it hurts, but not really nearly as much as it hurts them. You're immune to electricity, so can't paralyze you whatsoever. Maybe they were immune, maybe he was about to be paralyzed. Whoa! Oh my gosh, he's down for the count. Oh, now you're confused. This is a big problem right now. Let's cycle through that one and this one. Come on now, this is bad. I'm definitely gonna have to redo this. But this is sort of my best bet at the moment. Oh, come on. Jeez, this is super tough. Like maybe I should focus on the bird first. Because the bird's doing more problem problematic damage than Dragon is. All right. Come on, give me something. Ugh, not what I was like. We're both confused too. I really think I need to like restart this battle, but I can't really. I could like quit. That's obviously not gonna be so helpful. Let's see, can we actually land any of this? That worked. Wait, no, wait. Did we just shield? Yeah, we shielded the dragon. Oh my gosh, that's bad. Yeah, there's no way. We gotta take care of the bird first, which sort of stinks. Definitely cycle out Galio's moves. Okay. Bravado, all in, and then do a heroic strike on somebody. That way we can earn our gears back up. If we're focusing on the dragon, we might as well continue to go all in. Whoa, 561 that time, and we get Lionheart. Like we can definitely damage down the dragon, but it ain't easy. Don't know why they're not finishing off Copernica right now, but I'm not complaining. I mean, she's not doing so well. Okay. She's not confused anymore though, so we could try this out. It's not gonna do a ton for us, but, oh, we're paralyzed, that didn't work. Sort of a shame. Come on, Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave, Thunder Wave. Nope, didn't even do any of it. They really don't like our melee. Maybe my old setup would work better with, uh, with Auric. Like, that worked really well. We did a ton of damage towards the end of the last episode. I mean, they're resisting a lot of physical damage, because that's another thing. They're, they, he's really resisting the physical damage a lot, so I think that we just need to focus on Captain Canary. I mean, right now I'm just trying to let this end, you know? Because all I can do is that anyways. So they're just gonna keep beating us up, and there we go, 273. It's crazy how I can do that. So, let's revive its statue. I'm thinking I actually will switch back to Auric. Uh, so, active party. Let's try that out again. I mean, not to say our, our setup with our Millie was bad, but I know that our setup with Auric is pretty much more reliable. So let's try that out. So we have Inspiring Grace. What is that one? Oh, is that that I just got? I don't remember that one for some reason. Uh, we got Cyclone, Slash, and Lie Cut. Hmm. Yeah, this is the one I, I really need to save up for. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of Tinkerer. If everybody could just protect themselves for right now, that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Okay, we get a lie cut. I'm gonna focus on Captain Canary for right now. Just gonna build up as many gears as possible. There we go. Okay, that's good. Oh, because he made target. So I guess he means he's gonna eventually attack that person. So definitely do Arcane Detective and then Fixer. What is Fixer again? Generates, yeah, okay, here we go. Now we're gonna be able to hit for so many gears. This will be crazy, actually. Did we do this right? You're gonna roar. The sapping strike, we resisted it. Very nice. Uh, so here's our chance. I'm gonna go ahead and do shields up. Poor uh, Gal here is already frozen. Let's do Cyclone Slash on this dude and then do Poison on him as well. I mean, it might not work because we're paralyzed, so it might just be good to earn up more stuff with the lie cut. Let's see, can you do that? Yes, you can, thank you. Whoa, and he's weak to it. 
I mean, that really didn't, it did 600 damage. That's all right, I guess. I was hoping for more. That's where maybe our melee could do better against him. Oh, now you're confused. It's not easy. It's really not easy. This is a tough battle. Um, let's see what inspi let's get, yeah, get Inspiring Grace and Raging Demon out of here. This might be my best bet right here. Yep, let's try that out. Obviously, it's not gonna get rid of Captain Canary all that much, but it does something. Nice, okay. And that's really what we gotta do, is sort of get started with it. Oh, cause he just heals up, he's such a pain in the butt, and the Dark Breath, oh no. 100 damage each. Wowie. Crazy, crazy stuff. Um, Like, I really don't wanna go all in on her just yet, but it doesn't feel like I have too much of another choice. I'm gonna do that for now. Cause we just really need to get rid of him. Cause he's more of a problem than the dragon. It's crazy. And now everybody, cause he has all the status effects and stuff. Don't we have a card as Galio that fixes all that? I don't know where that is. Really wish I had it right about now. now let's go ahead and do smelling salts again. To solve your confusion. And then we'll do mana barrier, who's the lowest on health? You, and we'll do this. And we can earn up more gears. It's something. Just trying to set up for next turn, I suppose. Ow. I just don't like how he gets to attack twice and his attacks are very damaging. It's not cool. I'm just trying to earn up as much as I can for now. Because if I could get a full set of gears and then hit him with the, you know, the super move, that'd be amazing. I don't know if that's gonna work out that way, but I'm definitely trying. Yikes. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do the punch. Wait, what happened to the move? Oh no, these. This is it. Okay, never mind. I got confused. <laughs> I got very confused. Let's recycle this one and get another lie cut in. I guess. Actually, if I'm gonna do that, eh, not what I wanted. Well, what, the Raging Demon, deal 90% strength as arcane damage to one foe and 12% strength arcane damage to Auric three times. Switch to the Hanyana Mask, which grants 30% chance for attacks to be critical hits. Cause like, I'm willing to make that sacrifice for the gears to make extra, and then we we'll get Reign of Blades. That's pretty good, even if he is hurting now. Look at this, all these increased chance of criticals, getting him all the way down to 601 health, and then we can do this which ain't too bad. I mean, the only problem now is that he's almost bye-bye. Come on. He's, he just gets to do multiples, too. Is he gonna attack three times or no? The dragon's attacking now. I don't know if that's, all, if that's all that much better, but at least we've getting, gotten closer here to actually surviving. All right. Um, let's get Brain Freeze out for now. Tinkerer, what does this one do? See, like, where was this one before? I can't use that right now. I'm gonna get, I have to get rid of Blizzard. Regeneration, okay. And then Cold Feet, I guess. Not really how I wanted to do that, but I didn't really have too many other choices. Regeneration, I don't know, maybe I should've just done the other move. Okay, yeah, I should've just done the other move. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. What do you do about this? I, I hope this entire chapter is just a boss fight, because if not, I'm stuck. Why did I refresh the only move that was actually ours? Okay, obviously not gonna be able to win this one. I'm gonna quit and try again. So one thing I sort of noticed is that I've been very silly and I didn't have any accessories on work, so I just put on Power Bangle, just like the protagonist from that show you like wears. Uh, strength plus 10% and magic plus 10%. I also added this black pellet, which is grants a small chance to counterattack for 100% strength physical damage when struck by an attack. I'm probably gonna change that one. And then I only have one, which is loaded dice. Uh, luck plus four. Let's do Steel Bracer, but I'm gonna change that, maybe. We'll have to see what's available in the accessories. So if Arcane Power, Storm Power, Fire, Frost would be great, but that's the only thing I can afford. We have like Null Poison might be decent. Fire Defense, I, I wanna see what other things we can maybe Null. Cause the Dragon has Arcane damage. This might be great then. Cause I don't think he poisons us. 
And then maybe we can do frost power up. Let's try that out. This might be a big mistake, who knows. But equipment, so you have bandage drops, which I don't think you need null bleed right now. There's nobody doing a bleeding attack, from what I can tell. And then what was the other thing? It was Onyx Ring, Arcane Defense up. Unless I wanna put that on Galio. I mean, I don't know what luck related things he might have. Hard to say. Really hard to say. What is the Onyx Ring Arcane Defense app? Well, I definitely want that on somebody. I think we'll just do that. So the barrier gear, yeah, I actually don't want that there. We'll just do that instead. We'll see how that works. We'll get back into this. I did also change the decks a little bit. I added uh, a Fortune's Favor and got rid of Inspiring Grace. And then also, I got rid of a Steam Punch, our only Steam Punch, and got another Regeneration. Um, and I th also for Copernica, I got rid of Blizzard altogether and got another Creeping Cold. I think that will work. We'll find out. We'll see if it's a good idea or not. But we just gotta go at it for now. Yeah, 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 we've seen this. It's not easy, no matter which way we put it though. Like, that's the hard thing. So, like, obviously I don't need healing right away. I can focus on something like this. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but we'll make it work. I won't do brain freeze, we're doing a little bit of everything here. Got it. And then the tail storm, which stinks. We didn't get a good starting selection of cards, I don't think. This is a little bit better. We do fixer. Yeah, we can actually start building up gears like right away. And then we can do raging demon for two. I guess that works. Does Raging Demon have a combo? I don't think it does have a combo. There we go. But man, they're beating up on Orc big time. They're taking advantage of that. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, so we can definitely do something here though. If I do focus and then we do mana barrier, we can do creeping cold on you. I gotta do it on the dragon because that's what it does more damage to. No, I wanted to put that on Auric. Oh, what the heck? Oh, wow. Man, they're gonna beat a Bork. If they beat a Bork here, I'm gonna have to do this over already. That's just such a waste of time. Oh, come on. This game is so tough. So I'm gonna do Tinker right away this time and see how that goes. I mean, hopefully it'll be good. There we go. Okay, so we get like defense up and two magic up, but then it's like we already get paralyzed and already get confused. It's like, what do you do? What do you do? I have no clue. Um, for right now, if I can do this, Cycle through this thing. I was hoping to get, uh, come on. Oh well, if that's the best I can do, then that's the best I can do. I mean, you're paralyzed, so half of this isn't even gonna stink and work. Oh, this is like, this is what the worst is. This is a really fine example of the worst. I really don't know what the best answer for half of this is right now. We can do Fortune's Favor, I guess. I don't get any regeneration. I mean, I can cycle through one of these and get shields out. I mean, he's still paralyzed, and that might not even work. I'm just gonna punch this guy. I'm like so upset right now. Like, what do you do about this? I have no clue. Does that heal him? He, he, he gets healed every time he takes damage now, which is pretty good. Okay, I don't need two Cyclone Slashes. I don't know why the game does that every time. It gives me two Cyclone Slashes. I'll do Brain Freeze, we'll chain that up, do electric damage with it. Come on. There we go. Oh boy, it's so tough. Okay, now we're getting lots of lie cuts. And then one more, there we go. And I don't know if the, does the blades move give us extra gear? It doesn't, unfortunately. But at least doing, the, doing a little bit more damage, I suppose. Oh, it just stinks that he's still almost taken out here. Okay. Let's do that, let's do this, and then let's do Cyclone Slash on you. Sounds good to me. Just give it a shot. Because Galio's barely taking any damage here. That does a ton of damage this time, I think. It did roughly like 400. Man, oh man. It's just like, why does he get to attack like three times in a row? It's not fair. Uh. And we'll do this, and we got a chain going on. 
Make him weak in any way we can. Because I feel like we can focus on the dragon on our own. I mean, maybe I really should just get an Armelie strategy figured out after this. Like, if this one... Because that just happens. It's just like, come on. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but like what I can do to actually prevent that from happening doesn't make sense. You know, there's like not really much. You're just like, good luck, I guess. So at least I can do this, get some extra gears, get cold feet in here, because I really needed Auric for this. Maybe there's an item I can use. Gotta revive him. Revive kit, there we go. And then, do focus. I don't know if that'll actually be worth it or not, but we're trying it. Oh my gosh, stop doing that! <laughs> you monster! Jeez Louise! Okay, do the lie cut, do a bit of that, and do a cyclone slash on you. It won't be a ton of damage, but at least it'll be something. That wasn't too bad, he said 996. I just gotta keep going, I gotta keep healing where I can and keep hitting those crazy cuts. Stop doing that! Oh my gosh, come on! Okay, first off, I gotta cycle through some of this stuff. Second, I'll go ahead and use our last repair kit on you. Man, that stuff's expensive. <laughs> uh, that's not what I wanted. Um, thing is, I really, really need... No, come on, I'm pressing all the wrong darn buttons. Revive you, heal you, go back over here and just do poison on this guy. It's something, it'll earn up a couple of gears. There you go, now you're poisoned. Orc's taking some damage, it should be fine for now. Okay. I wanna cycle through this, and maybe this one. There we go, come on, we get the chain it up. Hit him with that 81, 76, 81. Not too bad. He's gonna mark his target. Whenever he marks his target, that means he's eventually gonna attack that person for a ton of health, but what we can do about it is like nothing. It's really not much. Okay, so we need to do Tinkerer, and we need to do Regeneration, and then we can do Steam Punch, and we can at least get a water gem jet. I did actually put steam punch back in. I sort of had a second thought about it. Come on in. He's getting really low. We don't even need that crazy of a Stop doing that! Oh, this is nothing. He can't do nothing about it. I don't care. If someone gives me the most detailed explanation of all time on exactly how that's totally fair and it's fine. And I'm just being a dingus. I don't believe him. This is ridiculous. Let's shield Auric because we really need Auric to be shielded. And if we could just try to get Fortune's favor in here. I don't know if it'll actually pan out. Yes, thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Come on, because this guy's almost down. And like, it won't be very easy, but it's definitely possible to survive. Come on, I need this to work, though. I mean, if I can actually just do like it's like, that will defeat him, if they can. No! Oh my gosh, come on! It's just not fair. It's just not fair at all. Oh, he's down! It just took forever. I wish I had another revive kit. Okay, so what can I do here? I can do, I can do a lie cut. I can try the shields up, and if I could just do Cyclone Slash, it'll do pretty decent. But now we don't have any of the frozen moves that we needed. And like this, obviously, like, he has a resistance to physical damage, so this is gonna take a while, but is way more doable than everything else was. Okay, well, it really stinks because I don't have any more repair kits, like at all. It's like, this is really my best bet. And there's no use doing that, so just like, what's the button to, isn't there a button? I swear there's a button to just move to the next turn. Yeah, here we go. Just poison you, because it's literally the only thing I can do. Can't use Mana Barrier or Cold Feet. And then we can use Regeneration. <sighs> this is the worst right now. Because we would be just fine if Caperna could have could have just pulled out just like a little bit longer. I mean, I don't blame her. It's, it's a tough situation, but it's just really frustrating. I need to use my gears for all this stuff right now. We just gotta sort of get ourselves back 
into a better position if it's possible. Okay, so did we just make you poisoned again with that, I think? Can't use that, but I can do that. You know, let's, let's shield yourself. Do another Lycat, another Lycat. Next round, we'll have some more gears, so. There we go. And we're definitely still taking damage, don't get me wrong. Okay, that's good. Let's try the Cyclone Slash, because I feel like that's gonna be just about as much as I can earn up here. And I, we're more than halfway there. Because like he doesn't just he just doesn't do much damage, you know? Okay. Shield and shield and Lycat. Come on now. We got it. This is sort of kind of working out right now. We might be able to win just with these two dudes. That'd be great. Because they're awesome. Let's do regeneration. Let's do Tinkerer. And that's all I can do. Okay, extra damage, extra defense, I think that was. Uh, these are all, are almost all Copernica moves. Okay, now we can do Raging Demon, though. Won't be as much for healing, but it's it's so doable if we just keep going. He's at down to 732, he's gonna do his Fire Breath, but we're healing. Come on. I love Copernica's moves, but now's not the time for them. And there's no point in doing Cyclone Smash. I don't, or Slash. I don't have any <laughs> gears at all. Come on, we're almost there. Oh, I probably shouldn't have refreshed and mend. That's fine. I might as well just do this now. We'll get the chain out of it, which is like sort of the most important thing. Oh, it's so close. Oh, it's so close. Come on. So he's paralyzed at the moment. Let's try that. Maybe I should have done the healing. Wait, what, that was it? I thought they had more health, okay. Good thing I'm used to wheeling. What? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, but we beat him. Barely. That was the biggest pain in the butt I've ever experienced. <laughs> okay, we got him. So we got, you know, different stuff. We got some repair vials. Definitely needed those, so I'm glad to see that. Master Gaines, we've come to save you. Where's Master Gaines? Now I guess he was behind those bars. Is this him? Doesn't actually look all that, you know, special. Is there time for supper? Wait a minute, you're not the guards. We took care of those void goons, every last one of them. I see, and you are? Oh, perhaps you remember me from my applications to the guild? I uh, can't say I do. Oh no. I also helped restock the guild's winter supplies and my parents have a grocery stand right outside. Are you the daughter of George and Ezra Bigfinger? Uh, no. Are you Gertrude, the little club with the, the little chub with the li limp leg? Well, no and no. Are you the daughter of anyone in the guild? Like I said, my parents are grocers. Ah, you're part of the help. That's why I don't remember you. This guy's not very nice. Oh. Look, I appreciate whatever you think you did here, but the guild is reserved for a higher standard. A membership can only be awarded to those who meet the requirements. But we saved you. Now, now, for all we know, these Void Army fellows realize their mistake of locking up real heroes. Yes, the mere thought terrified them as they feared our next move. The move of staying put in the cage? Ah, a well-tried tactic. <laughs> Those buffoons blindsided us. As a matter of fact, we were already blindfolded in preparation for Lenny's big barbecue surprise. Surely, you must be curious about why this Void Army decided to round up guild heroes. Doesn't strike me as important. And don't call me Shirley. Oh, he's not that smart either. All right, Gilda, let's return to the village. Those shrimps we left on, uh, on the Barbie must have tanned nicely by now. Tanned shrimps go perfectly with chocolate. 
Wow, these guys are just not nice. They take all the credit for themselves. Oh, poor Armilly. Well, they're heading back, and so should we. Saving the guild heroes, check. Defeating the dragon, check. What more can I do to impress the guild? That Gaines is nothing but a limp peacock. Wow. This is more than just simple kidnappings. Possible involvement from the alchemy college makes it much bigger than we first thought. What did we think? In fact, why is this our problem? We've done what we set out to do, save the heroes, the village is safe. This is not only about the village, it goes way beyond that. Dark Lords and the alchemists being involved. I have seen the results of abusing alchemy before. If you good people don't mind, I would like to accompany you to this alchemy college. That sounds awesome. All right, team. If there's more baddies to beat, then sign me up. I'll show the guild master I'll make him change his mind. Uh, we'll see. Let's head out into the college of something or other. And there we go, chapter six, canary and a coal mine completed. After having vanquished a dragon, our curious quartet briskly followed or briskly follows the trails pointing towards the Noble College of Alchemy. And that's exactly what we'll continue with in the next episode of Steam World Quest. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Dragon. So now you've watched at the end of the URA, Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.